Christ. Whoa. That is like so totally unfair that all of a sudden all those just went down like that. subs so I can just spend them. Spend stubs. Oh, it's buy stubs. I already have a thousand. Good. Very good. It's ridiculous because I've been checking and it said nothing about them decreasing it just all of a sudden hey jackass you just lost a point in all of your things Sunday afternoon for baseball at Petco Park. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. Oh! Wade will stand in as the watch is in full effect now as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. Now a curveball that's yanked high and deep down the line in right. And that will hook just inside the right field foul. It's a home run. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. A solo shot down the line in right. And that's home run number 48 on the year. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Oh, let's see it. I think I should have replayed that. He has proven to be a real nuisance in the first two games of this series. Shit. A home run I thought that was going to be a game. Just barely cleared the wall right below the foul pole. Jet Jerko will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Hey, you ready, you ready. Now the one two. On the ground for Tejada. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. So no runs, no yes, Mr. Padre. no errors, and one man left on. We'll move on to the second now at Petco Park. Everett Cabrera will stride forward, currently sitting in sixth place on the race for the National League hitting crown. Uh, you're looking at the guy who's got it right now, number 18. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. He will go to shortstop covering, and they do get the force at second. That was not an easy play. Thomas Wade will stand in again. He homered his first time around. Yes, I did. Pitch to him. Goes the other way as this is lined to left. 
Quentin is there, and it's a very quick inning. Thomas Wade. So far, in. I've been the only offense in the entire game. First inning of the ball game, and here you go. A solo home run that had him off and running early on. In the air, down the left field line, and deep. Quentin is there, and they breeze through this half inning as the side is... Now, yeah, well, that's what's going to happen. Not, not much I can do. Yasmani Grandal will stand in again. Yasmani Grandal. Late appearances thus far. Here's the two and two offering. Now a potential double play ball for Tejada. Barehanded for one. Oh, 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 oh. First, it's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six. Thomas Wade will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. Oh, pussies! Chicken shit! And ball four here on the intention of walk. So now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, <laughs> this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. 
swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. Not with swings like that, though. That's how I'm going to swing and forget it. Carlos Quentin will dig in now, and he, like many others, was held hitless in the shutout yesterday afternoon. He's running towards second. Pitches a full strike to throw. Not in time as he steals second. Second, now here's the pitch. Oh, and he lays one down here. This is going to be a tough play. On the first, and the pot right threat goes by the board. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you've got two outs, why are you bumping? Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch on the way. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a full strike. The throw. Not in time. He's in no, I bet I've been on the other side of the bag. Lucky Maybe we would have got him. This play. It's a decent jump, but I think a good throw might nail him down there. Instead, you see it's wide of the mark, off to the shortstop side of the base, and he's able to beat that tag to get in safely. Thomas Wade is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen.
Yeah, I kind of deserve that after my performance today. Yeah, two strikeouts and that. Mm. Yeah, I kind of deserve that reaction from the manager. Okay. Skip. I'm also going to send the games against Oakland because don't care. Even at four apiece. All right, here we go now. 
Good cut fastball in there. One and one. Too low. Foul back. Here comes the one two. Ball runs in on him here as this is flared out towards second. Ramon De Sanchez is in time, two away. Two more ground outs, and that's the product of throwing that sinker. Just about every time you swing at it, you're either going to hit the top of it or miss it all together. And if you do hit it, you're going to be killing all the worms out there in front of home plate. Right.
father's time here. Man, I am just... Well, there it goes. For a second, huh? you know, ball of mine to the right side. In there, the base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Just a nice inside-out swing here. You'll see, he lets that pitch travel deep, and, and those hands come through first, just shoots it the other way. And he swings on the top and sends it on the ground out to second. Throw on to Napoli, takes care of him. Two away now. Well, I think he's got the right approach right here. That's a fastball up, and it's on the outer half of the plate. Oh, my God. Why am I batting eight? Too, but he just couldn't really quite steer it into the hole there, and it becomes a 4-3 put up. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Throw across by Alvarez is oh, well. time for the first out. And that's the one thing about lefties that throw a lot of curves and change-ups. You're normally going to give your third baseman a pretty good workout down there. But he's able to gobble this one up and make the play at first. And here's the first pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. All right, what's up? Right here. Right here. Let's go. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home run. Um, where is the right fielder? Actually, where? A two-run blast. To did that look right funny to all oh, the rest of you? Did that look kind of weird? The home run I'm, I'm running that the bases there, and it looks like all of the outfielders were blending into the background. How rare is a 50 homer season? It's only happened 43 times in Major League history coming into this season. Without another name in that list, he might not be done yet. Oh, I see why, because he was right at the wall where all... That's why he looked like he was not there. Because he blended in with everybody. <laughs> okay. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. And he gets his arms extended here as this is hit pretty well out to deep center field.
Vaskersian getting you set for the finale of this three-game set. That will come your way in mere moments, but first we'll take a look at the top's player spotlight. Thomas Wade will be our subject as he enters this one having carried his team offensively last time out. He drove in a bunch of runs and really looked dialed in with runners in scoring position. Yeah, that was one of those games you won't forget for some time to come. He was at the plate in some really important situations and man did he pull through. I'd say he kind of single-handedly changed the course of the game and although that performance would be a tough one to match in this one, I know his manager and teammates are hoping he's got some more magic left in that bat. Okay, Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball, and we'll have it for you next on the show. Thomas Wade will stand in as the watch is in full effect now as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. And even if this doesn't lead to a run, it's important not to let this guy get out there and skate through the first inning, throwing as few pitches as he has. If nothing else, maybe you force him to throw another, I don't know, five, six, seven pitches to the next hitter. Possibly. Alvarez will stand in now, and his batting average currently good for seventh in the National League. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And the Pirates have their first base hit. Well, nothing I can do about that. I was going to be able to get to that one. Oh, well, as that'll push his hitting streak up to seven games now. Woo-hoo! Thomas Wade will dig in. He singled his first time around. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And another single. Single, single, single. So he's aboard with a second hit of the afternoon so far as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Thomas Wade will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ballgame. Oh, this is going to be awesome. This is loaded. When in that key hit, it still hasn't shown up yet. Like you say, they got the bases loaded. You just wonder. Damn it! Leave it there as the play is made here. Oh, damn it! Why do I keep doing that? Bases loaded and I pick in the fucking double plays. Why the fuck do I keep doing that? Oh. Rafael Jimenez will stand in. He's one for two so far. Now here's a swing and a ground ball back up the box. And he sat down, one away. Russell Martin will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. He's running towards second. Pitches a cold strike to throw. And no throw as he'll just hang on to it. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if we were even going to get him. Oh my God. Can I get to a batting opportunity? Jesus, stop giving me fielding opportunities. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Uh, I don't mind fielding, but I, I'd much rather hit than field. Fielder Andrew McCutcheon. And right now, they're not letting me do that. And I'm getting a little irritated now. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Throw, got him, and that's a gorgeous play. Well, I think he's got the right approach right here. That's a fastball up, and it's on the outer half of the plate. He goes right with it and hits it hard, too, but he just couldn't quite steer it into the hole there, and it becomes a 4-3 put up. Oh, we'll dig in. He lined out hard in his last oh, another fielding opportunity. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And this is going to get by right down the line. It's a fair ball. Finally, I get the bat again. Damn. We'll lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line and strike one. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. There we go. Hey, let her rip. Ball runs in on him here as this is flared out 
towards second, and Walker's throw is in time for route number one. Doesn't matter. Can we just send the damn game? We got clobbered. I, I mean, there's just, so there's just no getting around that. No getting around that. Pirates kicked the shit out of us. The game was over in the fourth inning.